InsideThunder.com, powered by iHeartMedia, Oklahoma City. The Thunder Rolling Book Bus was added again today in Oklahoma City. The place, Wilson Elementary School. The players, Sebastian Telfair and Jeremy Lamb. They were joined by 64th grade students who got books and armbands, some high fives, and our cameras caught up with them as usual after the event. Let's have a listen to what they had to say. This is your first. Uh, is this your first public appearance doing like the community stuff with the Thunder? Um, with the Thunder, yes, it is <laughs> absolutely, and it was a great one. I had a great time with the kids, you know, picking out some books, you know, teaching them, you know, reading to achieve is always great. Yeah, I saw you in there on the floor with them, getting down on their level. You definitely look like you're having a good time. So let me ask you this: Last year, you spent in China, yeah. put in a whole lot of points every game. Yeah. So did you do things like this when you were in China? Oh, uh, no, I didn't get an opportunity to do things like this in China, um, you know, but, you know, NBA is always great about this, you know, making sure we reach out to the community, make sure we always, you know, you know, making an impact on the kid's life. You know, I do this every day with my kids where, you know, we have reading time. So it was really cool to meet some new kids and, uh, you know, give them some cool books. Now, this year, starting with the Thunder coming in, uh, this is a year, you know, a lot of people are saying their best chance so far to win a title. How do you feel being on this squad this year with guys like Kevin and Russ? What are your thoughts on that? Uh, well, uh, you know, we do have a great opportunity to win, you know, but right now we just, uh, you know, trying to focus on, you know, getting the season started, staying healthy and, uh, you know, see where it leads us. But uh, our goal is definitely to win the championship. So you've been uh, been participating in some of the pickup games this this uh, preseason. How's that been going? Oh, that's been going great. You know, uh, you know, getting to jail with the guys, you know, um, seeing Jer if Jeremy Lamb could guard me. He's having a difficult time. This is why my hand a little jammed up. But, you know, just loving to being around these guys. So Sebastian obviously owns you on the court. Is that a reality or no? You see that ain't on tape. So <laughs> he could say what he want, you know, his finger jammed. So I let him have it. <laughs> so out here we had, I don't know, 60 kids or so getting on the bus. What, what, what are these kind of events in the community? What do they mean to you? Oh, it means a lot. They, um, you know, they get on the bus, they're real excited. Um, you know, they look at you and just smile and then they pick a book and, you know, they're just real excited, you know, to have the um, opportunity to, you know, get books and uh, meet us. So, you know, it's always great to see their faces. So this off season, tell me a little bit about it. What were the key areas of your game that you really focused on? Um, been working on a lot, but just, you know, just working on my craft, just shooting, ball handling, defense, just, you know, just working hard in every area, trying to get better each day. So with Tabo Cephalosha leaving the lineup this year, a lot of the uh, guys in the media are looking for who's going to fill that second spot. Sam was asked about it yesterday. Uh, your name comes up in that conversation. And so many times it looks like we're talking about a team-oriented mindset. Everyone's looking to just what role they can fill. For you personally, is it an aspiration or a goal to try to slip into a starting position at the two? Or, or do you just, you know, is it something other than that? Of course, everybody wants to start. Um, everybody want to be the best they can be. But, um, you know, I'm not focused on that. Um, I'm just focused on working hard. Um, and, you know, so is everybody else. Um, you know, of course, it's, you know, competitive league. And, uh, you know, everybody's competitive. But at the same time, like you said, we're a team. Um, everybody wants to play, you know, the best role that they can play for the team to make the, um, the team um, as good as possible. Okay, so we talked a little bit already about Sebastian and, and the pickup games here before training camp starts. For you personally, how, how have you seen those uh, pickup games kind of uh, progressing? You've, you, do you sense anything different this year maybe than years before, or, or do you feel it's more of a continued progression? Um, I, I think we stay consistent. Um, you know, everybody's still working hard. Um, nobody's relaxed. Nobody's... Um, you know, letting up. I think everybody's being consistent on their work ethic. And, um, you know, it's always good to have pickup games, you know, um, later in the day. You work out early, work on some moves, and then be able to do them in a pickup game. So we've been having some good games, some good runs, um, you know, very competitive, and we're getting better as a team.